Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I'm your host, x.e.l.o. And today I want to show you why I love the Complete Control S1 keyboard from Native Instruments, uh, especially when using it with Reaper. Let's get into the video. All right, so here we are in Reaper and you can see an overview shot of the keyboard. I have my audio interface on top of the keyboard. It makes it a lot easier for me to adjust my knobs if I need to. That didn't sound right, but yeah. So uh, the keyboard does light up. All the functions of the keyboard do work, whether you're doing it just for MIDI, if you're doing it for just the complete control stuff, if you're doing it for mixing, that works. If you're changing channels, it works on here as well. If you want to mute or solo tracks, it'll let you do that from this uh, device as well. Uh, you can also do like uh, tempo, you can do the metronome, you can do the turning loops on and off, you can record, you can play, you can stop, all that good stuff right here from the keyboard. You don't necessarily have to even touch inside the DAW to do any of those features. And that's kind of what I want to go over in this video right here. All right, so to get started, what you want to do is make sure that you have a file that uh, comes with the Rea Pack now. It didn't used to come with the Rea Pack, but now when you install Rea Pack, it'll come with this file. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go up here to Options, and I'm going to go to Show Reaper Resource Path in Explore Finder. Here is where all your Reaper files will be kept. So it's an easy way to find all your files in Reaper. So if I scroll down, and I go to my user plugins because that's usually where I drop all my stuff. You have this RIA control config file. This is what you would need for the complete control keyboard to control the DAW. So it comes standard now with the RIA pack. So once you download RIA pack and actually install it on your Reaper, you'll get this file automatically inside of your setup and it'll automatically set up your native instrument keyboard inside of Reaper, which is Definitely, definitely a game changer, in my opinion. There is another person out there that makes scripts uh, driven by Moss. Uh, he has a whole bunch of different hardware options that you can use to control Reaper or Bitwig. Those are the two that he usually focuses on. So if you go to his site, I should leave the link below in the description so you guys can check that out as well. So once you have this installed, everything on your keyboard should work. So if I hit play on here, it'll actually play. Uh, if I turn off the metronome, the metronome is now off. Turn on the metronome. You could turn on looping or turn off looping. All right? I can hit stop. I can record. Right from here inside this little section. If I wanted to do the tempo, let's say. So I can tap tempo right from the keyboard itself, and it'll change the tempo in the DAW as you see here. So if I add a track on here, and let's say I wanted to mute that track, I can mute it, I can solo the track from here. So let's say I had multiple tracks. Um, so you have four tracks here. So right now it's on this one, this bottom one. So if I go to the jog wheel over here, and I push left and right, it'll go up and down. So left, so right will bring it down, left will bring it up. So you can go through your channels that way. So this gives you an option to go through your tracks right from the keyboard. You don't have to actually touch the DAW or the mouse in order to actually do this. As long as you have tracks set up on here, you'll be able to kind of use this to control all those things. So right now, when you first pull it out, you'll see like this is the MIDI section. So everything in here is just MIDI because uh, there's not anything connected by a complete control yet. So if I wanted to, I can go to the mixer and these are the channels inside there and I can change the volume of them right from here on this. And as you see inside the DAW, the volume lever is going up and down just because I'm moving this knob, right? And you can choose which track you want to be on by hitting the tops up here. Right, and you use the jog wheel to move over to your next section. So if you had more than just these few tracks, you can move over and choose your other options if you want to. I think that is definitely 
um, something that will help a lot of people out when they're using this keyboard to control the dog, right? And you also have this option here, these little right and left arrows. So if I hit this, this will also move the channel, the screen over so I can see the other tracks and select whatever track I want to select. So you have that option in here as well. So for just from right here inside of the keyboard. All right, and I've actually created some templates for myself when I want to do things like this. I'll, I can right click on here and go to my templates, go to my complete layouts. And I have like a tuned 808. I have some drum kits in here. Um, I even have some setups for like my TV film stuff uh, for complete. Um, and I have one that just sets up the track so that you'll be able to manipulate it however you want. So let's do, let's do one of these. Let's set up one of the tracks. All right, and so from the keyboard, what I can do now, I can go to this browser button. And once I'm in browser, I can go through any of the instruments that come with complete control or, or contact, whatever, it'll, it'll work with it. So whatever you have inside of your native instruments will actually work in here as well. So if I wanted to, I can just do native instruments. And let me bring it up on the screen so you guys can see it as well, all right? So here I am inside of complete control on the computer and, and I'm on here as well. So I have some Arteria stuff and let's go. And I want to load this one so I can hit on the jog wheel to choose it or I can hit up here to load it. Either one of them will work. So I'll just hit on the wheel. And now, as you see, augmented strings came up on the screen and it's also in here. And if I wanted to, I can click on browser again and go through different sounds. And as you see on the screen, it is doing the same thing that it's doing from. The complete control. So I can hit load, hit load up here, and that'll load this instrument. And let's say we like that, we can actually record that in just hitting record. All right, so now we have a nice little four bar loop in here. And we can bring this up inside of the piano roll and see exactly what we played. And we can even set like a loop marker in here. So now that it'll loop this section itself. So that way we don't have to worry about it going back and forth or going over that loop point, all right? So let's say we had uh, some drums in here now. So I'm gonna go to my layout and I'm gonna do some boom bap drums. So all my drums is set up on here. So if I I can go through them. So this is the kick. Snare. Hi-hat. Open hat. Crash. Tum. And I'm just using the jog wheel to go up and down on this. So this gives you a really nice way of actually laying stuff down. So what I can do is actually just play the track. And now I'm on the kick. Let me quantize these real quick just so it doesn't throw me off. <laughs> uh, okay.
I can hit record on here now. And now when I put in the kick, it'll just start recording the kick. And now I want to move to my snare. to my hi-hat. All right, so now I can move down to my open hat. Right? And these are just some of the possibilities that you can actually have with this uh, complete controls. All right, so I bought up the mixer on the computer and I also bought it up on the complete control as well. So now if I hit on my mixer, you can see all the tracks that are on here, right? So this is the strings. If I move over, I have my kick, snare, hi-hat, open hat, right? So I said we wanted to um, boost up the kick. Let's play it in context. Turn down the hi-hat some. And you can do all this straight from the keyboard. You don't have to rely on actually using the mouse and moving things around for the mixer. You can do it right here from the keyboard. And I think that's what makes it stand out so much for me. Like I said, you could do your mutes and solos straight from here as well. Um, and it incorporates very well with uh, complete control. So that's why I like to use complete control, like the sampler inside of Reaper. Uh, this gives me a whole lot more options to work with the instruments that's in there. Um, you get to see uh, a whole bunch of different things by doing it this way. So um, if you had another instrument and you wanted to even do like your scales and chords, you could do that right here inside of Reaper as well. Let's make another instrument, right? And let's do... I'm going to do a complete control layout setup track, right? So now what I want to do is go to browser and this time I'm going to actually use a native instrument sound. So let's see, let's do the lo-fi one, right? And we're going to do this air bending sax. All right. So now it's loaded up on here. And what's really cool about this is I can go into this, uh, hit shift and do a scale. And now I'm on the scales, so I can set my scale in here to whatever, you know, I want it to be. Let's just say, uh, let's say E, and we're gonna do a minor. And we can even do chords. So let's say, let's do a chord, right? And then once I turn on the scale, if I hit this button here, the scales are actually on, and now you see only the ones that are in scale are highlighted. And I can kind of learn how to play the scale that way as well. So if I didn't have it on chords and I just had the chords off, so now the chords are off. All right, so you have an option to find out how to play chords straight from this keyboard. You can even do like arpeggiator. So if I hold shift and do this arp, 
Now I'm on the arpeggiator side. I'm not going to turn the arp on. Right, and that can go up, you can go down, you can go up and down. Right, so you have these options right here. You can change your rhythm if you wanted to. Um, you can have actual different sequences. So I'm gonna put it on one. And that's the sequence for one, for two. And we can change the octaves here. Let's give it two octaves. And you can change the notes. Right, 132. So it has all these right here inside of the complete control. So if I wanted to do, like if I had hi-hats and I wanted to do like a note repeat, you have an option for a note repeat right here. Uh, so if I went to like say a hi-hat, right? And I go back into their ARP, turn on the ARP, turn on note repeat. So right now it's on 1 16th. So I can switch them right from here which makes it really, really cool to kind of make your own little uh, drum patterns and hi-hat rolls, snare rolls, things like that, right from the keyboard. Like I'm not even touching it inside of the DAW itself. So this is what I believe is really good about this keyboard. Um, it works very, very well with Reaper. Uh, shout out to the people who actually made the script. <laughs> um, and shout out to the people who actually put it in the rear pack so you don't have to search for it to kind of find out how to get this or where to put it uh, it does it automatically once you download rear pack um, all those custom ones that come with rear pack once you load them you'll get that as well so i hope you guys found this video very very helpful if you're trying to decide on a keyboard for reaper i would highly suggest this one but you know to each his own uh, there are other keyboards out there that work very well the Atoria keyboards work very well at Reaper as well, but I would definitely suggest to get this. Like I said, you get to learn the keys. You get to see your notes that you're actually playing. You get to use the ARP one here. You get to control the DAW for your mixing, for your mute, solo, play, stop, quantize. Uh, you have your undo and redo right here. You can do scales, you can do ARPs. Um, you can do mixing from here. So everything is like right here in front of you with this keyboard. So you don't necessarily have to go into the DAW and do all this. You can just kind of feel a little bit of freedom from the, the keyboard and the mouse and just, just create. So I, that's why I really, really like um, this setup that I currently have with Reaper and the complete control. If you guys have like any questions or comments about this, definitely leave them below in the comment section. And once again, I want to thank you guys for watching Learning Reaper. Until next time. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.